Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Wasteland 3 on a turn-based Thursday. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode one. I've been wanting to bring this game to the channel for a long time. I started playing it last week, and it is fantastic. So we're going to get a new game underway. We're going to play on the default normal difficulty combat level. You can customize this. Friendly fire area of effect and missed range attacks will be able to damage your own squad members. That's probably the way I would play it the next time through. But for right now, we're not going to do it. There's a lot of positioning going on and stuff. And I think I would end up shooting my own people a lot. At any rate, this is what we're going to do. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then, the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fella calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. promising the rangers wasn't just their best hope it was their last okay major all good come ahead road lately but that's the thing about the rangers it doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall they keep on fighting the rangers never stop fighting okay so we're going to create our first two characters and here's where it gets complicated for a lot of people who are new to the Wasteland games or are trying to get into it is in the character creation and what the heck do you build and are you trapping yourselves in a bad build that's going to make it hard to get through the game. So there's a couple things to know up front. First of all, you can choose different kinds of starting teams if you want and take their default stuff or you can do the smart thing and create custom characters, which is what we're going to do. The problem... Or the difficulty, I should say, with Wasteland 2 and Wasteland 3 is that there are 16 non-combat perks. 
that you need to basically account for among your whole team. You're going to get four team members that you can build yourself and then two NPC companions. And unfortunately, the NPC companions you get, none of them are really built very well. So what you have to do then is basically take the two that you get early, since you're going to have the most chance to customize them because you get them early, and kind of sort of build around them. So we're going to start with a couple different characters. I've played through this intro twice, and I've come up with what I think is a pretty decent way to get through it with the goal of getting to the team that I want to have. So I'm going to build the characters, and then I'll explain it and we'll get started. All right, let's talk about our starting two characters here. What we're going to have is something called a shotgun sergeant and a sneaky sniper. These are two classes that I basically got from the Fextra Life website, and I strongly recommend that you take a look at that website for builds if you're curious about how to start. There's some really good ones here, and we're basically going to follow five of those builds with four of our characters and a companion. Because, again, you have to get somehow most of these 16 non-combat skills spread among your team so that's the key thing you can't get them all or if you could you would kind of weaken your combat abilities so we're going to try to get as many as we can so red here is going to take the, here's the important things backgrounds and perks and all that stuff he's a background as a raider hater it gives him 10 percent bonus damage to humans and then his quirk is serial killer. He's going to use shotguns almost exclusively with a side dip into pistols. He gains three AP from each kill in combat once per turn. He's going to be a character that is going to be looking to annihilate huge groups of enemies with his gun, with his shotgun. And then he's going to use that to boost leadership and and boost everybody else in the group. So that's where it really comes into play. He's going to have a lot of coordination, so he can have a lot of action points and move around. He's going to have a lot of charisma, which extends his leadership range and affects his leadership skills. So that's the big thing. He is the one character who's going to have his skills spread around many different things. He's got five. Most of them are going to have three or four. Small arms, so he can shoot the shotgun and the pistol. He's going to be the only character that has first aid, so he's going to be your emergency first aid guy. Mechanics... Survival is for a perk later in the game. And then the big one is leadership, where he has some really cool abilities that go with this. And his whole idea is to get in there, kill bosses, or kill multiple people at each turn, and then get bonus AP for himself and boost everybody else. That's kind of his goal. Shadow is our, our standard sneaky sniper. She's got the sadomasochist quirk because she's going to receive 33% damage in it in in exchange for doing 33 percent more damage as a sniper her whole thing is going to be built around getting the first sneaky shot off during a combat engagement and trying to take out a boss or the, whatever the most dangerous creature is and then get into the fight so that's going to be her thing her skills are set up between sniper rifles small arms so she can shoot a pistol sneaky shit so she can do some sneak attack damage and stuff like that. That She's the one character you want with sneak attack damage. Sneak attack damage. There is another build on the Fextra Life site um, called the Recon Rocketeer, which involves using rockets and sneaky shit. Um, I didn't want to have two characters with sneaky shit because there isn't really a point. I mean, once one person fires and starts the combat and gets that first sneak attack off, then it's open combat and sneaky shit is done. So... I, I don't see a point to having two characters like that. So I just decided to go with the sniper. It made the most sense. And then somebody in your group has to have lock picking. So she's the one who gets it. And for her attributes, she's got enough coordination that hopefully you want her to have nine AP a turn so that she can shoot her sniper rifle and then switch over to her pistol to make a shot if she needs to or to just reserve for the next round. She's going to have lots of awareness, which is going to increase her hit chance and her perception and her range damage bonus, you can see. And she's going to max out intelligence for critical chance and critical multipliers and all that jazz. So that's the basics. Oh, and for her, she's got goat killer. For her background, it's a crit chance. You want her to crit and you want her to do that additional 33% damage. So these are two good starting characters, I think, to start with. I've played it a couple different ways to start out the game, but I feel like these are good starts.
I really like the animations and the sound effects in this game. Your objective here at the start is to wait basically for this massive weapon to fire. Uh, you're going to get a machine in here in this region. So all these guys over here are going to be vulnerable to it. There is a tutorial section in here. I'm just going to leave it on right now so you can see it. If you use your Q and E keys to turn, it basically turns 45 degrees at a time. But you can hold down the middle mouse button and do smooth turning. Why the Q and the E keys don't just turn smoothly, I don't know. And that's a question, probably the most brought up question on the forums that I could see right off the bat. But at any rate, we got half cover here. Uh, you can, the cool thing is when it's your turn, you can do your characters in any order. They don't have individual initiatives. So for instance, with the shotgun person where we kind of want him to clean up so he can get multiple kills in a turn, in a single turn, you can have everybody else go first if you need to, so I can do this. With our sniper, she's right there. We don't really, she's got nice to hits over here. I think we want to take these guys out and leave these guys over here. The big machine's going to come in here. I think it takes two turns for all of this. So let's just get her zapping somebody with her sniper rifle. And here's your special, abil the special abilities right here. We don't have any yet. There's uh, items for quick slot bars. And here's your precise strike. This is your, everybody has a special. And as you, as combat ticks by and time goes on and you make kills and stuff, the special fills up. And then when it's ready, you can use it. So. It's pretty cool. All right, let's take that guy out. She does that one, but then she doesn't have a gun. AP allows you to move, attack, and reload your weapons. Each weapon costs a certain amount of AP. We're all familiar with that stuff. So now, let's see. She has what? She still has... Let's see. Wow, she still has eight AP. We can still shoot this guy, too. Okay. So that person's dead so now you can see it fills up a little bit so then at the end of your turn you can either yeah spending leftover ap once you finish acting with the character you may have action points left over that's okay you can put them to good use by opening your equip bar and selecting one of the final actions ambush defend or prepare so ambush works like overwatch uses all remaining ap gaining a five percent hit chance per extra ap spent you can defend which is going to get you some evasion or you can end your turn and carry over two unused AP to your next turn. We're going to do that. And so now this person's here. And I'd kind of like, like, what's he got for, for shots right here? It's 69. What's he going to have from here? He's going to be out of range. We can move him over here and he's going to get 95% chance to kill that guy there. So, And his weapon only takes three AP to shoot. So we're going to move him. And then we're going to shooty, shoot, shoot in this direction. He's got a shotgun. So hopefully he can kill the guy on the left at least and do some damage to everybody else. There he goes. So he gets a kill. That's nice. And then we could... Uh, he's got one more shot left in his shotgun. So we can try to ambush. So we'll do that. Here comes the big machine. And it's going to go after all the other rangers besides us. So it's a pretty good way to... It's a pretty good way for the game to handle the start. You're not getting... Just, so... One more turn here. Rangers may need to make take cover. Blue spaces are areas where the ranger can move to with enough action points left for an attack. Orange spaces are areas with their maximum movement range. The red target preview lines show if they... The red target preview lines and percentages are great i love it it's it's awesome um he's out of ammo so he's gonna have to reload okay and then she's over here what she got i think she's got full cover behind there doesn't she yeah and she'd have full and a half there so she might be able to take this guy out and he is gone Okay, so what are you going to do here, buddy? Hmm. Because there's no more full cover anywhere. I think the smartest thing might be for him to... 
to just cover up because we're not going to kill him. So we're not going to kill that thing. 5% evasion for each point spent. I'm going to do that. And same thing with her. Because this next turn... It kills that guy. Takes out this guy way back here. Misses her. Yep, so now we got this thing. Vehicle turret online. It's time to even the odds. So let's do this. Combat's over. Over here, you two. Come here. Listen, if you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here. There's no going back. All right, move out. And keep an eye out for survivors. Let's not leave anyone behind. So now the first combat's over. I like how the game throws you into combat right away. Crafting components, cigarette butt, is, there's a lot of junk here, spikes, says it's ammunition, I assume that's going to be for something else, basic movement, we know how to move around. Yellow snowball, 10% chance to apply the stink, 5% chance to apply black thought, that's pretty funny, there's a burn book, so we got a bunch of, of junky things. So he's reloaded. She's reloaded. Okay. Save quick saves. I use those a lot. So the stink. He should probably have this. In case he wants to toss one. You can hold down your shift key to highlight items. Which is always a good thing. Yeah, I'm going to wash you in your own blood there, buster. Powder burns on the ranger's jacket. They were shot at point-blank range. So we're going to have her come up here. You can see the ring of perception here. So I'm going to put her down because... I, I believe I want to make it... Yeah. Improve hit chance evasion and detection time. So... She's going to smack this guy. Are you washed? In the blood of the and yeah, you're washed. So she's going to reload. Life is good. It's got more loot. Some human teeth. That sounds not so fun. Get off the ice. Private Lang. Just bit it. Not good for him. There'll be no survivors there. This ranger was beaten to death. Private Lang did not leave us any loot. His vehicle. His truck is empty. Looks like the occupants managed to escape, but you can't tell where they went. Someone sliced open this ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines. Judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. That doesn't sound good, does it? How did I know? Maybe you blew her up already. Liar! I want her head! It's gonna be me who bring it to Jarrett! Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. So this person you can if you have hard ass or kiss ass perks. I think you can negotiate it with her, but since I don't, I'm just going to try to shoot her. Keep this person alive. Don't think I could have lasted another second. Really did a number on me. Thanks. 
You guys are lifesavers. Not likely. Most of them burn with our transport. A couple more went under the ice and... Wait, Major Tom, he might have made it. Saw him take off like a bat out of hell after we wrecked. It's ground control to Major Tom. There's all kinds of stuff, references like that in this series, which is fantastic because it's the same kind of thing that the original Fallout 1 and 2 games did, and it's just always so much fun. And Baldur's Gate, the original Baldur's Gate did it. So it, this is my brand of humor. I don't feel like I have a very wide brand of humor. If there's a pie chart, I have a tiny sliver, but this fits into there, so... Don't know if he'll come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked, but take these. Might get his attention. Remember the cigarettes and remember Major Tom. <laughs> Who's Major Tom? Assad is our major. <laughs> Major's just his nickname. You can just call him Tom when you find him. I, I love this. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Be careful. So, very nice of that to happen. We'll reload our weapon. Got some money, 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 money. Got a good luck tape. Rad cuts coupon and some nine millimeter ammunition. They're good parents. Looks like the Dorseys haven't been camped here long. They must have known you were coming. All right. So now. Blood. Blood for the deluge. <laughs> Joey, no! <laughs> Don't worry, crybaby. You won't be grieving long. Murders. So it's our job to get in there and save her. Let's try to do that. So you can hit the space bar to disconnect your team. Group selection versus individual selection. Very easy. I like it a lot. It's very nice. Okay, so you can get an idea of what that looks like. So I want him to be down and I want her to be down. And who, who do we have? To, this explosive barrel, but it'll take out this person. So what do I have? I have this person over here with a machine gun. That person has a machine gun. This person is an ambusher. You could blow all three of these guys up right now. What's... Does it think that we can kill him in one shot? It looks like it's just... The whole, his whole line is flashing. His whole bar, so... I'm going to wait for this guy to walk back I think because what's oh my god no All right, I meant to right click on my other companion and instead I killed him. So that's kind of funny. So you can shoot your own companion like a dummy. All right, darling, blow this guy up. Now you done 
All right. Shadow gets a shot off. Combat has started. She's got two AP. Quick, take cover. Protects you from an enemy gunfire and improves your weapon's hit chance. There are two types of cover, low and high. High cover provides the best protection. Watch out, though. Cover only protects you from attacks coming from that direction. Flanking. That enemy has taken cover. To flank them, try moving to a new firing position. Yes, we know about flanking. Okay, so we got a couple different things going on here. I wish this... I, I don't think you can save part of a Beltran, but it would be nice to try. Um, I'm going to take... Let's see. Am I 95 to shoot him from there? Is that what it's saying? No, I can't be. But if I'm there, I have a 95% chance to hit him. And I also have a pretty good chance to hit these guys. What's he got? It's like 19 hit points. Hmm. <clears throat> If I move up there, it's 5 AP to move and I can shoot one time. Here, I've got full cover. It's going to be easy for them to flank me, though. It's going to be easy for them to flank me wherever I am. I don't think I can get in any kind of position to get a shot at two different guys. So, I'm just going to move up here and, and take a shot. It's the best thing I got. Oh, and not quite dead. Wow. Okay. Well, I can reload and be ready for next turn. Yeah, let's do that because I want to have both bullets. She can do what? She can't. She doesn't have enough AP for an ambush, so we can either prepare or one, two, three, four, six, one, two, three, four, five. She still won't get two shots off next turn. So I think the smart thing to do is play defense. There we go, because then they missed her all three times. This person is standing by that barrel and is just waiting to get blown up. Healing in combat. Know about that. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we have? We have dude way back here? Oh, he's way, way back there. Okay. I'm less concerned with him. I wish this dummy'd move. Hmm. Let's see. Because I don't want to get destroyed. Yeah, she doesn't have a pistol yet as part of her problem. She can hit this guy for 73. She can hit that one for 80. She can finish him off. Let's have her shoot this guy. Okay, she got that. What about you? How much does it take to throw this snowball? 2 AP. Okay. Hmm. If I go there, that's partial cover there. Can he hit that guy from there? It says 95%. Okay, let's go there. I just want to graze him. I don't want to hit that barrel. Oh, and it didn't quite do enough, did it? Darn it. Okay. Yeah, give me one of these. She needed a snowball. Hold on. Can she get one? Cannot equip in combat. Darn it. Okay. I would have snowballed him and see what that does. He's running. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's go. Oh, she got hit, though. Even though she was defending, she got hit. She got a clear shot at him, though. Well, we can go back up there for 5 AP and kill this guy. Wow, that's the best we can do is a 69% chance. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. I almost want to throw one of these snowballs and see what would happen. Denver rot. Oh man. Okay. I'm just going to do this and see if he'll. 
see what's going to happen if that rod will kill him. Eyes on target. No, it didn't. But let's go see if we can kill him. Missed. Finish him off. Got an 80% chance to hit him. So we saved this person. What about you, Private Beltran? Why didn't you get here sooner? Look what they did to Joey. He, he's dead. And if I would have taken advantage of that barrel to easily kill three people, so would you be. Damn right. Gotta get poor Joey back to 18. I don't care. I'm finding a way back. I can't let Joey bury me. You kidding yourself? We are done. Just let me go. Ah, uh, fine. Good. We don't need you. Deal with it, Mr. Joey. All right. So that person's useless. What is this? Casino watch. Oh, but we got ammo. And more ammo. And healing. And a moldy sock. Okay. So she can go in here, and you can just say. Use the item on yourself. Same thing with him. We should probably... There we go. I just really like the way this game does everything, pretty much. It's... With the exception of the rotation, this is... Really cool. This person over here... Ranger was dragged out of a vehicle, disemboweled, and left to die. A blood loss and cold. That is particularly cruel. Okay, his gun and her gun are reloaded. Sniper. Now, here's the first thing. That's why you want to have somebody with some lock picking skills. There's this up here needs lock pick, success, lock level one. I love how they do that. In parentheses, they tell you what lock it is. Frag grenades, those are important. Upgrading your gear. You've looted an upgrade item. Click the inventory button on the HUD or use I to access inventory screen and equip your new gear. So. Upgrading your gear. You can do upgrades. We're not going to do that right now because we don't have anybody with weapon modding, but it's cool. You're going to have mods. This stuff. Don't have any extra weapons right now, which is too bad. But that's okay. We're going to roll. Oh, no. That could have been deadly. Alright, so this turret is activated by this computer over here. Enemy detection. Look out! There's a big-ass robot ahead. Luckily, it doesn't see you yet. Stay out of its detection range to go unnoticed. You can get the first turn in combat by attacking an enemy before it spotted you. However, we cannot stress enough how badly that robot will fuck you up right now. It's pretty funny. So can we hack that on the computer? Status ready. Enter command. Nerd stuff. Requirement not met. So we'll disable the defenses. I'm sure with nerd stuff you can make it so that that turret would attack this thing. Which would be great. So now we need to run. Hurry up. Up here. Get away from this thing. Trap detected by perception. Some objects in the world are hidden. Each character in your squad has a perception stat that indicates how well they're able to spot hidden objects like alarms, traps, or secrets. So. We don't have explosives yet, so we can't just get that done. Um, hmm. What's in the... It's a weapon crate. We can go around it, and we get the pump shotgun. Which is important. Because that's going to be an upgrade for him. 
I believe, requires two small arms. We don't have two small arms yet. We have. Do we have one? Is that what we have? Yeah, because we had to spread our points out. So we'll wait a little bit. This is the generator, which will open this thing. Red's going to do it. All right, now we're going to get ready to fight. So here we go, boys and girls. Rangers, Who's box? Mostly, mostly on us. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Bummer. <laughs> I'm going to give him a smoke grenade. I'm going to give her a regular grenade. She's also got these. Smoke to gain a plus 10% critical chance for 36 turns, but suffer a minus 10 hit chance for 60 turns afterwards. So I think that'll be fine. I might want to might want to use that. And then there's a box here. Sign up sheet. The hell are we signing up for? I love that you can just quick save a bunch of stuff here. It's really helpful. Spikes and another med kit. We got a couple of things here. More ammo. Ammo is really scarce in this game, just like it was in Wasteland 2. But if you're judicious, it'd be okay. On the other side of the door, you can hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. A bunch of punks. Look at that. Yeah. Them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> My big brother. He'd have loved to take a piece out of you, but that's okay. I'll bring him one later. Hmm. What's this deluge of blood? I guess you don't know your scripture. The Darcy's are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Darcy's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save I like that. It's an appropriate surprise. Holy shit. They gonna kill Jared. Stop. Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. All right, Major. We have explosives here. So let's see who we have. We have a goon up there and a goon right there. And I'm by explosives there, and that's probably not a good place to be. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's go to her. Oh, she can't. She can't get where I want. Hmm. I almost want to. I wish they'd have switched places. I really need her where he is. She has a grenade, though. Two AP. Hmm. Okay. If she throws a grenade, she can probably kill that guy. If he shoots that barrel, he may be able to kill that guy. Maybe. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's try this. This could be very good for us. I don't want to blow up this thing over here. I mean, that's nice, but I'd like to see that guy come over here. I don't want to blow that up in case I need that cover. Although blowing that up would be pretty good. Then it'd be a place. Then then this wouldn't be dangerous for me here. Let's do that. He's gone, and there's a bunch of fire. Okay. That's cool. What about you? Can you just shoot your weapon at that thing? Yes. Think that'll work? Oh, it did, did it to me? Okay, that's no good. Okay, so we're back in this situation. I don't want to hurt myself, so apparently I was too close. The blast radius of that thing seems to be at least three. So I'm going to move him over here. And then I'm going to move her here. I'm going to have her toss grenade over here. Okay. She doesn't have any more grenades, which is a shame. She's got two AP. Probably the best thing to do is play defense. He has enough to do what? Oh, concealing anyone standing within it, giving a significant increase to evasion. He's going to do this. We're not going to get hit here. XCOM concealed. Okay. And then he's going to do... He's going to save points for next turn. More bozos are coming. And he's got a big old rocket launcher, so... So unless she can kill him, we got to hurry up and help. He's got a 95% chance to hit that front guy up there if he moves to here. He's got 10 points. If he moves here, he's got a 95% chance to hit that guy. He's got a 95% chance from there, doesn't he? 69. So it moves to 95 if he spends 2 AP and moves. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to move him to here. He's going to get two shots here. That's a good shot. One more shot. Oh, and then he's got this. He's got a special. Cost three AP. Or is it not ready yet? It's not ready yet. Okay, hold on. In that case. She can't move very much. She's got to stay there. But she might be able to get this guy, can she? 55. It's not great. What about this one? 55. Hmm. Not great. Shoot that guy. Oh, she got him. That was nice. Okay. I'm going to... One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. She needs one more action point, really. Um... If I carry over two points, it's not enough because she... Oh, she does have one more grenade, doesn't she? Oh, no, it's just total grenades, I guess. You get to use from the group. Not enough explosive damage. Okay, not enough AP. We're going to use this then. He needs to take one more shot, doesn't he? Just then reload. Okay. Reload your weapon. Play defense. Strikes. Your strike meter is full. To charge up your strike meter each time to make a successful attack. Each weapon type has a unique strike, a powerful special attack. Okay. Yeah, she got the guy with the big missile, so that's good. All right. It's interesting when the tutorial is up, everything keeps running. It's like. So that guy's dead over there. 
How far can she move and get a shot at somebody? She can... Oh, she can flank. Oh, that's nice. Do that. Yeah. Take a shot here at this guy. Okay. Now she could throw a grenade if she needs to. He's going to get a sh Oh, he can do this. How far up can he shoot that thing? Oh, man. What if he just moves a little bit? That got him a kill. Welcome to Colorado. Yay, and we leveled up. Leveling up. Your rangers have leveled up. Leveling up grants them extra constitution and skill points to spend on upgrading their skills. And at later levels, they also gain additional attribute points. All right. Excellent. We want to do that, but first we're going to loot everything. We got that. That. Junk. And now we got that. The Mangler or Rocket. Yay. We're going to put that to use one of our next characters. So let's head on up over here. Oh, and that badge. Gonna want to equip that right away. Acquiring skill points. We want to take this. It gives you kiss ass. They're gonna get a run into a character later that actually has kiss ass. Which is gonna be nice. Okay, and what is this weapon it needs two and small arms so let's level him up and give him a two and small arms he's got a few more points we're gonna want him to have another point in leadership probably let's see healing if not so much in that i'd like to go small arms right away and get this maxed out you close that confirm so then you can go to his inventory and say hey the Skeet Hunter, Pump Shotgun, Ammo Capacity 2, you can compare it, the damage is better, the penetration is better. Then you gotta bring him out, and then you gotta do, let's see, oh, and it already loaded ammo, which is great. She's gonna level up. Let's see, coordination, she needs another. Oh, we can, don't get that, just skills. So, lock picking, sneaky shit, sniper rifle, small arms. Definitely want to be keep pumping into sniper rifles, but we're also going to want lock picking. So, oh, wait a minute. And she gets more points. So let's poke. There's, there's a point later where the lock picking is going to be really important. So, oh, all right. Now, now we can move around. There's an ammo box right here. Come over here and talk to our major, Vera Prasad. Prasad's breath streams from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. It's clear to you she's in shock. It's incredible she's still conscious. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Private Bell. She should be here soon. Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did well. Now, she closes her eyes, grimacing, and fumbles in her knapsack. I'm, I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't. And the rangers are fucked. That brings me to the secret orders. Of course there were secret orders. Go on. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an, sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela... De but they went dark. We have to find them. Hmm. What do you know about this Patriarch? 
Not much yet. He's the boss of Colorado. He's rich, and he's willing to share food and supplies with Arizona in exchange for a little firepower. So, so we better not mess this up. Hmm. We thought Angel Death was killed on a mission to California. No. She found her way home and found out all her squad mates had died fighting. Oh, good jeez. Wasteland 2. For the advanced team mission. Got her away from her ghost. Give me a second. Catch my breath. We can go. Hmm. First aid, euthanizer. This will help. You may feel a little drowsy. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I want a euthanizer. Let's see. As you pull her up, her shaky smile becomes an agonizing grimace. You look down. Her intestines have slumped out of her, tumbling to the snow. She crumples to the ground dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Vera. So we get scout armor. And we get this. An army rifle. It's an assault rifle. Surprisingly, none of our characters are going to use that. He needs the scout armor. So he's going to get it. He's more of an upfront character, so he needs to have all of that stuff. Critical chance plus three. We need that to go on her. And then what other fancy things do we have? Nothing there. We've got some stuff here. Okay. Let's go find Major Tom. Because remember, he was here somewhere. So we get a rhino, a quick slot item, two AP, gain eight armor for 36 turns, but suffer evasion afterwards, and brain candy, gain perception and 15% strike charge rate for 36 turns, but suffer evasion afterwards. I like those kinds of things. Those are cool. And medical chems. All right. And a weapon crate and a rocket that'll come in useful Yeah, whatever, deluge of blood. What do we have here? Glass knuckles. Okay, and then there's this vehicle. All right, hold on one second. I almost missed him. Major Tomcat. Right here. <laughs> Major Tom. <laughs> I love it. So if you have Animal Wars free, you can get this guy, but we don't have it yet. But, yeah, he hisses. As you get close, you see the cat has a dog tag rather than the collar, which is a boss with the name Tom. All right. Come on, cat. We'll catch you. He carefully lines up to jump into your arms and then sits back down. All right. Okay, so what you have to do to get this option on take out the cigarettes from Jody Bell and wave them at the cat, what you have to do is have them in your inventory, not on your belt. That's, I knew I'd done this before, but I I, this is the first time I'd put her cigarettes on the belt, so it's got to be in the inventory. Tom climbs down to you eager for a smoke, and now you get a pet, which is really cool. So, you got a pet...
So now we're going to travel to Colorado Springs. So the prologue area is done, which is just really well done in my opinion. I love so much about this game that I've seen so far. It just feels really well put together, really well designed. Major Tom with his cowboy hat. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So. Here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Be my guest. Oops, I didn't mean to click that, but that's okay. That works. I wish I could give you all the Dorseys, and maybe, before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Thank you. We appreciate anything you can do for us. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Me too. Now, introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now. Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Yeah, so we're going to leave it right here. It's a great place to stop. We've got a new location. We're going to try to reassemble the Rangers. Build out our fortress. Kick some heads in. Help this fellow out. Get some help for the rest of our Rangers back in Arizona. I love it. It's a great setup. It's a great game. The user interface, fantastic. UI experience is good. Sound effects are good. They've reused some assets from Wasteland 2, and I don't have a problem with that. I like the way everything's set up. The combat is so much smoother than Wasteland 2. Everything about the field of battle is great. The turn-based combat and stuff like that. I'm excited to play these characters and build them up and see what they can do and how powerful we can make them. So thanks for sticking with me. Expect this on turn-based Thursdays for a while. I'm going to plow through this game. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until then, happy gaming.